Hello everybody, we're back for some more Dwarf Fortress. Hey! Okay. Before we get going, I want to address something real quick. Uh, my last two episodes were respectively one hour and two hours long. Um, I did this because Dwarf Fortress is one of those kind of games that... It's harder to make a short episode because you don't really get a lot done. So, with that said, I'm going to be making longer episodes. So, if you don't have the time to sit down and watch a long one-hour episode, remember you can always come back to it later. YouTube should save your progress so you can come back and view it again later and finish watching the entire episode. You don't have to sit down and watch it all in one sitting. Now, I'm going to try to keep them to one hour roughly uh, and if not I'll just split them up manually that way uh, I'm trying to do as little editing as possible because that way I can get the videos up to you faster uh, and in larger quantity uh, okay so where were we last we had just built our we have a trading depot that looks to be full of obsidian mugs we weren't able to trade last time. Arr! Okay, and we have our trade storehouse, which we can't do anything with. And we we're trying to figure out how to get us gold sovereigns to be able to train our people. Because, well, we just, our guys just won't do what we want them to do at present. So, with that said, let's uh, come in here down to our stuff into our advanced buildings uh, let's see we've got uh, okay so this is what this is the trade storehouse so where is our trade storehouse on this list Trade storehouse, okay, it's at the very top, which means these things down here, okay, so let us build let's build a bow mirror or how you call it, bargains. Okay, where is my mouse? Need trade license, okay. That's what I was afraid of. What about okay? New trade license for that. Trade license for that and that and that and that. So we're pretty much out of luck. So yeah, we can't do anything that so I have no idea how to get gold sovereigns again please if if somebody knows and I don't figure it out in these next couple of episodes let me know please with a comment or a private message you can send you know a private message email or whatever it's called on YouTube and it'll get to me and I'll read it that's rather important right now so tough decisions on what to do we need to actually get rid of we don't need to. Build. We just need to build a wall right here. We'll build it out of a block, obsidian block. There we go. The reason why we're doing that is because we actually had some dryads. I think it was get in through this little spot right here because they can go diagonally. So putting that block there should ensure that we. Uh, won't be getting any more invaders that way. So we are also going to build more walls. We're going to come here. Now I have this set on open placement. Box selection is enabled so that means I can basically do this and it will build my wall for me. I don't have to, you know, manually select, you know, make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or I think 10 is the maximum I can make it wide. So we're going to put a wall right here. We're going to make this out of obsidian blocks to begin with. Actually, no, we don't want obsidian blocks, do we? 
because obsidian is rather important to us. So we want to, let's see, I'll just come in here with this. Move building. There we go. Build, construct, wall. Take it to there. We're going to make this out of nice, actually. Ba -ba -ba. Bam, all right. Build one to there, out of Gneiss, more Gneiss, this can be a nice large area, yeah, it's eventually the goal going to be to keep our entire zone blocked off as much as possible. Oh, we don't have enough. Nice. Okay. Finished off with Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay, now we want to come in here. Come to Q. And then we want to Choppage right there, get rid of that tree, and then reactivate. Okay. Now I do this because I like to have a nice large area blocked off so that my dwarves can get in and out as well as the caravans can, and I'll probably make this the caravan entrance and this my dwarven entrance as much as possible. I'll put more bridges like I did over here, here, and here, except this is going to be my defensible entrance. This one over here is going to have a, actually, a double, okay, I'm going to do that, make that a gabbro. This is going to have a double bridge, it's going to have a bridge that goes from roughly here to here. And it's going to close up from here down so that it'll throw mobs here. And then roughly there. Make that a gabbro. What will happen is this area here will be channeled out into a little pit probably five or six blocks deep and then the bridge here will just vanish um, it'll basically retract into the ground here I think is the whole premise of it so that when this bridge here closes it'll throw mobs down into this wall then they'll fall so we'll be perfectly safe all right now that's gonna take quite a while to build Let's go check our dwarf therapist. I was playing my own games. So we need to reread our dwarves here. Progress going slowly. Yeah, it's not responding. Okay, well, we'll give that a couple minutes. All right. So that's up here on ground floor. Our farms are doing relatively well. Yeah, we have, I believe this is plump helmets down here. No, that's cave wheat and such. Oh, bloody crazy. All right. Now that is plump helmets. Okay. And this is sweet pods, I think. Yes, that is sweet pods. Okay, so let's come over here. Relaunch therapist. It has been acting very, very picky today for me. Do not know why. There we go. We got our dwarves red. Perfect. Okay, so we have 22 dwarves. I'll remove nickname and add by what is it? Migration waves. We've had two migrations after our initial 14. We've had a group of three and a group of five. Not a lot coming in. Hopefully, we can get some good stuff and some uh, some of these other skills in here because we're having problems with our gilding up here. Yes, so 
Now, F3 is our bedrooms. We have plenty of bedrooms. Do we have beds? We need beds. Okay. If I remember right, we had been trying to work with this guy. Building present. Okay, yes. That's right, we have this guy here. Uh, we're trying to make... If I remember right, we are trying to make our... Yes! Our expedition leader, he needs a meager dining room. Um, let me pull up my browser, and then I will search for dining room. Uh, there we go. See what that... Construct dining room. Actually, no, that's not what I want. I wanted... Um, how did I find that last time? Um, room quality. Let's try a search for that. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so meager dining room. Yeah, it doesn't tell us what it is, but we need a modest. So we need a numeric value of 100. I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah. Making a large room, also levers, have special properties. Ah, uh, yes, that is a nice little trick. I forgot. I can give my expedition leader a lever, and he'll be happy just sitting there flipping it back and forth. Okay, so that is our F3. So we had this cave system, and then we had another cave system down there. Very frustrating. Which... Okay, now F4, we don't have an F4 or 5 set yet, so there's that. Alright, the armor stand is placed. He still does not have a modest, modest dining room. So hopefully that lever will fix it. I really don't want to, but I might actually just have to carve out a larger dual room for him. Okay, so... This up here is... Progressing not at all. It's gonna take quite a while, I think. We've got all that storeroom. At last, I, I finished the artifact. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I'll name you after my mother. <laughs> oh, really? I wonder what his mother's name was. All right, let's look at our artifacts. See what he made. He made view. Rockustamurid raises. Renewal. Tone bladed the hairs of intensity and obsidian journal. Oh, how pleasant. This obsidian journal all across me show the highest quality. The other menaces with spikes of obsidian on the item is an image of two boulders. An obsidian on the item is an image of dwarven musicians in obsidian. Pretty dull artifact, if you ask me. So where was that? Where? Ah, oh, right, our... our Crafting stuff is up here. I forgot about that. Okay, so what do we have going here? We have workshops making weapon racks and armor stands. Uh, masons, that is. Carpenters making bins and beds. Uh, craftsmen making mugs and jewelers. Cutting fire opals. And our siege engineers workshop has, if I remember right, about two million Uh, mechanisms so we need to go into stocks and let's see we want to look at a couple things here we want to look at our seeds we have plenty of seeds uh, prepared meals tons of prepared meals we're good for years there drinks got plenty of drinks uh, okay let's see we're looking for mechanisms lots of thread Lots of stone, well, not a lot of stone, but a fair amount. We've got a lot of obsidian. Uh, a couple blocks, some chains, well, ropes. Mechanisms, yeah, we've got a lot of mechanisms, so we are good on mechanisms for a while. Okay, now, jobs. Actually, I want nobles, jobs, or no jobs, and that. Okay, we got wooden bins being constructed. We got 20 out of 30 made. Uh, we have maximum bins set here. 
And let's actually give them a couple wheelbarrows. And we want to make a wheelbarrow. So we would wheelbarrow. Let's make 15 of those. And we're not going to be able to use them right away because we don't have that many stockpiles. But what we can do is come to this guy. Wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow. That'll make 15 total, but I think we've already got a couple somewhere running around the place. Okay, now... Let's see, which bridge is this one tied to? Okay. Crazy, which one was that? Was it this one? Yes, okay, so we want to pull this lever. Interact. Oh, we're way down there, okay. And we want to pull that one, because we want to keep our fortress secured. We should flip this up and block that off completely. So any interlopers will have to come through our mastiffs. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Our fortress is relatively secure at the moment. And then once we get these walls down, built down here, we will actually put... You know what? I think we'll put our two bridges here and here. And we'll put a mastiff here and here. That way, we'll keep we can keep a track that way as well as anything coming in and out, because we want our dwarves to be able to come into this area safely as well. But if something manages, like a flying creature or something, to to fly down in here without being seen, we still want to be able to identify it before it actually gets into our fortress and causes any real damage. So, do we have any digging going on? I cannot remember. I do not believe we do, so we're going to open that up to dig. Okay, I'm going to zoom out here so I can get a better view. Come to the top, alright. Right about there. Now let's go down, checking on digging. Okay. Right, I forgot. Oh, excuse me, hiccups. I forgot that was so far down. Okay. Uh, okay, that goes to there. Yeah. Okay, so. All right, let's start channeling this out, or preparing it. Okay, so we want to zoom in, or zoom back in. Designate, downward stairway, get us two there, and then designate upward stairway, there, that should be good, yep, all right. And then just straight out, We're going to start channeling down. And actually, before we do that, you know what? We want these to be up downstairs. There we go. We want to come down to here. I think. Let me think here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I want to try and avoid this cavern, if at all possible, which is not going to be very possible. Do I have room on this side? Yes, I do. Okay, so actually, before we do that, then, I'm going to cancel all that. Let's get our diggers to come over 
here and dig a channel to here. And then, let's see here, down stairway, that is J, three wide. feeling this is going to run to a cave over here, and, and if it is, it's going to suck. Because <sighs> I don't want to deal with those caves right now. I want to just be able to get my magma smelt forges and stuff set up so that I can start making things that are actually worth some good stuff. Yes, yes! Okay. What is, what is he doing? Storing items in the stockpile. Okay, well. Now, he's actually using a wheelbarrow there. I know it doesn't look like one, but that's what he's using. So we've got... I want to make that three, then. Alright, what do we got going on? Nothing is being constructed. Why? Why, you lazy dwarves? Why? Okay, now I found something that I can come in here and check this out. This is kind of like Dwarf Therapist, and what this is, this is the uh, managed labors that is automatically loaded with DF hacks. So if you don't want to mess with um, Therapist, you've got all of this. So right here it tells you what it is that you have highlighted right here. As well as here, you got your little abbreviations up here. You've got the icon that is going to be represented by that labor. And then you have, down here, you also have their skill, their relative level and skill, which obviously means how fast they're going to go. Okay, so we have a legendary, proficient, adept, professional, and I'm not sure, legendary five. I'm not quite sure what that means. And then we have all sorts of other good stuff. We have their profession, their name, HAP. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what that is. Um, then we can also sort by name, arrival, profession, happiness. So we can suit, suit by quite a bit of stuff. Then we can view them. Um, and then we can zoom to the creature so you can find out exactly where they're at. So this guy's digging. So he's one of our miners, obviously. And he is digging out. Beautiful! Splendid, man! Splendid! Alright, we got that lever in there. So let's check our nobles. Now that did not do it for his modest office. Okay, so we need to dig him a bigger office. So let's do that. Okay, let's dig a double door, a two deep hallway, and another double door. And then let's make it seven wide three tall give him a door here give him a door here and then give him a door here give him a nice okay so we are three up three up nice little dining room here nice little bedroom there that should be plenty actually let's make bedroom bigger. So who doesn't love a bigger bedroom than they got a dining room, right? Diggy diggy. There. Okay. Now yeah, what the heck. Make it there. When they get that dug out, we'll move him in there eventually. Eventually, that is. Now keep in mind, whenever you're smoothing out your dwarves' rooms, they are going to be incredibly cranky because of the noise while they're sleeping until it's all dug out. And in the long run, it will pay off. So for the, you know, for the immediate short term of, of, you know, three months, three years, however long it takes for them to smooth all of that out, all the dwarves sleeping in their, their rooms while some smoothing is actually going on. Like there's nothing going on right now. 
So if we had a guy sleeping in this room, this room, any of these rooms really, and any of these blocks were in the process of being smoothed out, like, like all of them are scheduled to be, your people would be incredibly cranky because of the loud noise. And viewing their thoughts would say something like, uh, was dis was woken while sleeping or something like that. So status, uh, thoughts and preferences. So let's see if it says anything about it. Quite content lately. Slept in a very good bedroom recently. Slept in a good bedroom recently. Admired a fine door. Admired his own fine bed. Complained of the lack of chairs. Satisfied at work. Faithful worshiper. Citizen of the yada yada. 53. Scrawny, slightly protruding eyes, okay. So it doesn't say anything about him being disturbed from sleep because it wasn't going on. There was actually no smoothing jobs active while he was sleeping. So that is a good thing. We have no doors, we have beds at least, that's good. So let's come down up here. Nobody's working on anything. I have a feeling it's because they're all supposed to be smoothing. But keep in mind, we don't have a lot of dwarves. We've only got, what, 20 some dwarves right now. And we've got 22 dwarves, so our, our fortress really isn't that big right now. We're, we're still a fledgling. Okay, are we digging that? No, we're not digging that out yet. Oh, see, we got some smoothing scheduled. And if there was anybody sleeping in here, yeah, that would really disturb them anywhere in this entire place. No, nope, still, yeah, we, we need that. All right, and now let's actually also smooth all of this to say here. Because we need our dining room set up before too long. There we go. That's going to take a long time to get all that done, but when it's all done, the dwarves will be incredibly happy about it all. Okay, we've got some carpentry work going on, it looks like. Yes, they're making beds. Good. Good, 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 good. No rock stuff being made, though. Why is that? Let's sort the masonry. Okay, they're hauling in stone detailing. Bloody crazy. I don't want that turned on. Yes, it turned off. Splendid. Splendid, splendid. Yes, yes, yes. Ha, ha, ha. Is that a pickaxe? Yes, it is. He just dropped it. All right, come on. We want our masons. Come on, boys. Stop. No, it turned itself back on. Ugh. I'm starting to wonder if there's a conflict between dwarf therapist and dwarf managed labors in DF Hack. And if they just can't consolidate between the two of them and one saying yes, the other saying no, and the other saying yes, and the other one saying no. And so I, I'm curious if that is actually what it is. If you know that's what it is, let me know. Give me a second to take a drink here. All right. Actually, you know what? I just realized something. We're going to want to expand our dining room eventually, so let's turn that smoothing off. Just smooth the bottom half of it out. Okay. Nothing active yet. One active there. That ain't active at the moment, but he's probably off storing stuff. Got a warrior there hauling a bin. What's in that bin? What is in that bin? Nothing. It's in this one. Ooh, fire opal. Splendid, splendid. Lots of money there. Okay. Now I'm looking at this. 
this, I could probably put my lava workshops over here, somewhere in this space here. But, you know, I do what I do. Because it's my game! Okay, what? Oh, yes. Now this guy here didn't, doesn't look like he's doing anything, but he's actually smoothing the floor. If you watch carefully when he moves to the next tile, it should flash briefly. No, it didn't flash because there was stone on it. What about the next one? No, he just quit for the day because he's thirsty or hungry or something. Yes, thirsty, drinking. Okay. Uh, what is going on? Reports. Coyote is fighting. Really? Let's zoom. This was one of our dwarves trying to kill a coyote. Oh, bloody heck. Forgotten beast is Eno has come. An enormous scary snail. Really? He is down here, right here. Eno the Forgotten Beast. It has thin wings of stretched skin and is and it squirms and fidgets. Dark scarlet scales are bloody and set far apart. Beware its webs. That is exactly why I did not... why I was not happy about this huge cave system so close to the dang surface. So we need to make sure we are blocked off completely. Okay, that one right there. Okay, I think... I think that's not blocked off. Okay, that's blocked off. Good. And this entire cave system here is blocked off. So we are safe for the moment. Zoom back in here and resume play. Resume! Alright, now let's put a table in here and a chair in here. And then we have an armor stand, so we can put that in here. Once that's placed, we'll designate that as his dining room. Come on, dude, dig out that uh, bedroom. I have no doors, I need doors. Come on, people. Come on, masons, do your work. Now, because of this whole pesky guild garbage stuff that I'm not being able to figure out, I'm seriously tempted to just go back to standard lazy noob pack because if I can't figure out how to do this stuff and I get actually do stuff, it's pretty pointless to uh, to play a game that I can't, you know, to play this stuff that I can't figure out. Okay, I want to... Okay, Q, that's what I want. Oh, he's currently building it, that's why. Okay, so... Make throne room or study. Assign to our leader. So come down here. Free chair. Remove. Remove, 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 remove. Alright, let's just strip that room out completely for the time being. Do we have a bed yet? Yes, we have a bed. I'm going to put that in the middle of the room, right there. Yes, now see this guy here, he was just smoothing that. So if we check this guy out, status... Ah, uh, has been quite content lately. He slept in a good bedroom. He's been satisfied at work lately. He admired a very fine bridge lately. He's complained about the lack of chairs. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. I do not know why it, these people are not being woken up. They're supposed to be woke up from smoothing stone and digging and other stuff like that. 
However, at least this guy here realizes the importance of getting this place done up. Right, so let's make this a bedroom. Oh, bloody heck, I can't do anything about that just yet. Because I don't have any doors! Although, he's got his dining room. Make dining room. Assign to our... No. Our leader. And then we will... Okay, that's already being made up. So, Alright, so now let's check. Still needs a modest dining room. Goodness gracious. Let's try... A cabinet. Okay, where's our... I need a cabinet. Ah, yes, because it's being removed. Alright, let's smooth this all out now. Actually, I can't be smooth. I can, but I want to get rid of that. Those bloody walls are in the middle of nowhere no. just yet. Yes! Do it! So he removed the cabinet, and when he gets it put up, wherever he's at, come on, man, you've got to be getting up close to the surface now. There, that's not him. All right, well, let's try and build it anyway. The cabinet. There we go. Let's place the cabinet. There. Nice cabinet. Do we have weapon racks yet? Uh, no, we do not. Uh, we want job manage. Armor stands, everything. Yeah, bloody crazy. Nothing's being built. Nothing's being built, and it's not making me happy. Although, that room is now prepared to be smoothed. So let's smooth up to there. Oh, we got a bed. Beautiful. Oh, wait, that's right. We gotta wait for doors before we can assign him that bedroom. You know, let's do it anyway. Let's free that bed. Make bedroom. We'll just do it that big. Assign to our leader. Now let's see. Nobles. Ah, yes! Everything has now been met. Beautiful. All right. So, he will now do our management job, our broker job, and our broker job at full efficiency. Our psychiatrist, however, now needs a meager office. So, let's dig him a room. He only gets a single doorway. Except his is going to be a bit more lengthy, like so. Oops. There. This is going to be a bit oblong here. No. Actually, that works out almost perfectly. Look at that. He's just one shy block off. That'll be our psychiatrist. He'll, this will be his offices. This will be his bedroom. Um, and then we'll actually give him a private dining room. He's not a really important guy, so he doesn't get a big one. He just gets one, to be nonetheless. And actually, let's remove that, and we'll put it there. Okay, come on, boys, finish smoothing. Whoa, who's this guy? Is that? Ah, yes, it's our leader. That is the outpost liaison. They are doing their work in the room properly. Beautiful! You know what, let's actually make this a bit more extravagant. There we go. Nice entryway. With pillars. Yes, pillars. Beautiful. And our masons still are not working! Oh, they are constructing walls down here. Look at that. They're getting some walls built in. That is probably why they're not 
constructing anything up there in the workshops because they're trying to get the wall done and it's just two or three of them. So that's going to be quite some time before that's finished. Hopefully we can get somebody in here and we can actually trade for it, for some trade licenses and sovereigns and figure out how that's supposed to work. And our outpost liaison is digging through our chest of our cabinets. Oh, you bloody snooper! Why are you doing that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, everybody, sorry about that interruption. Um, yeah, I, I had a phone call from work. Uh, somebody at work wanting some troubleshooting type information. So, got that straightened away, and hopefully, no more interruptions. Whoopsie! Okay, so where were we? Uh, yeah, primarily I think we were just waiting for people to dig stuff out. We're still waiting on our masons to get up here and make some blasted stuff. Uh, yeah, let's let's actually look at this stuff here. We've got construction inactive, inactive, da -da 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 -da, inactive. Alright, let's look at our jobs list. Uh, construct building. What? what? Nice door. Let's unsuspend that. Uh, let's see here. View job. Zoom to job. Uh, zoom building. Okay, so where's that at? Alright, let's unsuspend that. Come back in here. Yeah, all these walls inactive. Look at that. All those walls inactive. And we've got constructing rock mechanism. Okay, so that is currently suspended. We want that suspended. So all of our jobs are, we don't have any really suspended jobs. We just have a bunch of inactive jobs. Oy. Okay, it's just a matter of waiting. We've struck Ruby, yes! That'll make a, a dwarf nice and happy, two of them. Rooms dug out. Okay, good. He's gonna finish that room there. That's splendid. Splendid, yes, indeed, wonderful. Oh, saving. Okay, so it should be fall or wind. No, spring, I believe. Fall, winter, or spring. One of the two. Well, that gets done saving. There we go, back on the move. And all right, our lead, oh, seriously? At least we have two dwarves digging. We can see that by that little square right there. Someone's coming. All right, look over the documents. They want plants. Dice, which is a craft. Cheese. Journals, which is another craft. Headwear. Splints. Powder. Scabbard, scabbards. Okay. Ammunition. Meat. Sorry, not going to get it. War hammers. Long swords. Knuckle dusters. So, really, either, <laughs> we're screwed. Because <laughs> we don't have anybody that can make any of that. Alright, farewell. Get the hell out of here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's follow him off screen. There we go. Get out of here. Leave my fortress. Hopefully, when then you come back, we can actually get some trading done. That's a full year away. We should have one or two caravans in between now and then, though. Okay, and he is gone. All right, back up here. What is this guy doing? Where's his little picture at? Ah, right here. So where is this guy going? He's grabbing a corpse. Okay. Q. 
curious. This guy's a farmer. <clears throat> oh, there's a wall built. Oh, yeah. What is he doing now? Wow, our mugs. <laughs> we got more mugs in there than we know what to do with, man. Crazy. What's he doing? He's grabbing a piece of stone, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. They're finally putting mugs in a bin. Thank you. Who are you? Thank you, Isokar. Isokar, farm worker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now what is... Oops, nope, I want to just do that. Where is he going? He's probably storing that item in the stockpile. He left the bin at the trading depot. Oh, dwarf and AI is so stupid! All right, those rooms are completely dug out, so we can smooth them out. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Make sure it's all being designated. Looks like it. Ah, except this piece right there. And right there. Good, it's all designated. What is this guy doing? On break. Really, dude? Come on. Okay, so do we got anybody else that have claimed this? No, we need to make that a bedroom so somebody can claim it. That's our old leader's bedroom. We want to remove... No! That's a door. We don't want that to be removed. Okay, so this gabber table is just sitting there. Okay. Let's see if we can build some tables in here. Beautiful. Okay, now I want to come here. Oh, out of tables. I have chairs. Beautiful. We've got some chairs. Get our dining room started to be set up. Now I realize this probably isn't the most optimal way of making a, a dining room, but it's how I like to do it. Okay. What do we got up here? Lots of bones and such being stored. No walls being built. Come on, I need another migration wave game. Give me a migration wave. Particularly, I need that built. So let's actually uh, remove just to kind of safen that up a bit. That way some creature can't get down there and beat on the wall. Okay, what do we got going? Nothing is working. Nothing is moving. Nothing is happening. Well, seeing as we, okay, let's see, stockpile, remove, one is a mouse, we want to remove that bit of stockpile so that we can build that bit of wall in there, and so we don't have to go back to it later and ensure that it gets built after the fact. I know that's probably going to be an entrance, but we can always remove them later because a wagon can actually get in here nicely as it stands now. So, back into our farm. Okay, is he there still brewing drink? Uh, render fat to tallow. 
don't want that. I want easy meals. And cancel that. Cancel, cancel. Okay. Probably gonna tell me I can't do that. I need non rotten stuff. No, he didn't. He said, okay, sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Yes. All right, I forgot about that. That is gonna be next to be dug. We got more puppies. Yay, puppies. Puppies. Where's our minor dwarf doing? Is that a bucket? What is our sport tree bucket just doing there? Okay, we need to dig a well. Okay, so we want to dig. A nice hallway to there. And then we want to dig a nice room there. Okay, now we want to channel. Perfect. So we want to come up. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, so remove that. Okay. Now we want to move all of this. is that just tells me where my channeling is, okay. Now, okay, river is over here. So we actually don't want this to be channeled either. Clicky, clicky. Ramp there. Channel there. Ramp there. Dig there. Ramp there. Dig that there. All right, now we should be, yep. Okay, good, good, good. So we want to go to here. Okay, so let's actually just dig this straight up. To say there. And that will tell us where our ramp is supposed to end. Another one of those. There. 
That'll actually work out nicely. Oops, that's supposed to be a regular diggy diggy. Okay. Now, let me get that all done. Dig us an access channel. This is going to be our well. Uh, so, yeah. We want to just do that there so we can see that. Okay, let's dig an access channel here. sit um, wait a second um, let's actually let's just dig this straight to there and then dig a channel oh, bloody heck uh, okay let's just dig this straight this a couple layers deep, so I'm going to have to come to here. Now, I'm, there's probably something I'm messing up with this, but <laughs> what can you do, right? Okay, and then let's build a downward stairway right here. Up, down, stairway there. Upward stairway there. So that's up, up, down, down. All right. That should get that entire stretch built. And what we will do is we'll put a door here, seal it off completely. Okay, we want that just to be that. that is going to go to here and then we will build a channel here and here let that fill up and then we'll put some floodgates here to keep out anything now we'll put the floodgates say right there and we'll channel those three blocks out possibly four so our water will flow in and then we'll open those channels up and then when we get to here These will be channeled out down to here, and this will be channeled all the way down to here, so it'll fill up for these two layers. And then we'll have a floor in here with a little inlet right here. Uh, maybe grates, um, possibly, I don't know. Um, and then we'll have a couple wells in here. So that should work out nicely. This guy's making mugs, right? Yes. Tons and tons of mugs. Uh, finished goods bin. Look at all those mugs. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's crazy. Two pages of mugs, plus about two pages of mugs just sitting in the stockpile. And we got a button load of mugs there. Beautiful, beautiful. 
why we are not okay, let's check our settings here we want gems finished goods type all right uh, books chain flask goblets instruments illumination amulets scabbards hourglass abacus journals I have no idea what that is. Uh, books. Splint's cool. Goblets, that's our mugs. Okay, we got all the types enabled. Okay, good. Additional options. Uh, wood. Uh, hmm. Furniture, siege ammo. Great storage capital bed, traction, tables, coffins, kerns, millstones, honor stands, weapon racks, uh, bins. There we go. So let's block all and allow bins. There we go. And hopefully we'll get a couple bins in there. I don't think that's properly how it's supposed to be done, but you know, we'll figure it out. Ugh. <sighs> Slow, tedious process. There we go. We got our entrance started. So that's looking good. Look at all that stone. Beautiful. Okay, are we, we are not making meals for some reason. We are, however, making drinks. Um, let's put meals there and meals there. There we go. Then we got this. What are our miners doing? Mining. Got a guy hauling, got a guy digging, got a guy sleeping, and a couple of guys not even on the job. Hey, it took. Splendid. Splendid. Um, yes, they took splendid, excellent, excellent, excellent indeed. Hopefully we can get some stuff dug out. Ah, we got three guys digging down here in our bedroom area. That would be why they have not gotten to our well area. And actually, I want to change this designate channel all of it except for that no I can do that much right there that's just so they can get up and then I'll do the bottom ones as we get closer Actually, I don't even need those two. Beautiful. There we go. Wunderbar. All right, folks. Well, it has been just right at that hour limit. I am terribly sorry about the uh, phone interruption. Uh, until next time, don't forget to hit that like button or the dislike button if you want. If you don't like the way I'm doing things, feel free to hit it. I don't care. Uh, just... Keep coming back and watching. I might start doing things the way you like. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Give me some ideas. Uh, I realize there's very few of you, but if some of you want a dwarf named with a specific task, like a warrior or a leader or a miner or a mason, you know, stuff like that, let me know. I'll name a miner after you or a dwarf. And then last but not least, do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you know when new episodes come in and sent out to your inbox. Until later, I'm Lokwood. Peace.